last week of school I was so excited to get to go with Patrick on a field trip because Patrick probably has less appointments than all of the other kids, which is a really good thing. But it also means that he gets less trips just with me going places unless we intentionally make time for those trips. And sometimes, like the end of the school year, when things get really, really busy, that just doesn't happen as much as I like it to. We, a lot of the times, we will have a lot of family activities, but I do really like to try to make one-on-one -on -one time for the kids. And I really like it when Paul and I have special one-on-one -on -one time with each of the kids. And a lot of times that is able to happen after doctor's appointments because we're already out and we're on our own and the other kids are in school and so we'll go and do something special and it just really works out well. But that doesn't happen as much with Patrick, although Patrick does happen to start feeding therapy tomorrow for... I saw the note on a printout that it is for dysphagia is the little diagnosis note, so... And it's because for a very for a lot of textures when Patrick tries to eat he gags until he makes himself sick and it's always been this way I think it's probably why he didn't eat solids until he was over a year old and that he probably should have had feeding therapy a long time ago but we are doing it now and hoping it helps so that he will eat more than just apples because that kid would eat 10 apples a day if he could and nothing else except maybe plain untoasted bread with nothing on it so since you can't really, well, shouldn't really live on plain bread and apples alone. Feeding therapy starts tomorrow, so he will be getting more one-on-one -on -one time with me. However, back to the point of this video, I was really excited that when I saw that there were no appointments on the day of Patrick's end of the year kindergarten field trip, that I was going to get to go to have fun with him on the trampolines at a local trampoline place. I'm not really sure what the trampoline places are called. Park? Not really park well whatever it is we were going to get to I was gonna get to go along with him and it was a lot of fun and he had a blast and now I'm kind of curious to see how Maggie would do at a place like this whether she would totally love it because I could see her totally loving it or I could see her being totally overwhelmed by it and not jumping at all sometimes we have been at places with bouncy houses and she's been overwhelmed and hasn't wanted to do them at all so Although this last time when we were at the race and there was a bouncy house, she was all over it and begging to go back again and again. So I'm guessing that maybe she is at a point now where she would love the trampoline. Anyways, on to the Patrick's field trip. In
that's it for today. If you like this video, we'd love it if you'd hit that thumbs up button. And if you're interested in all things autism, we'd love it if you'd hit subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.